And so, in conclusion, bow. Bow before my superior story science knowledge, you idiots. Oh, hello, it's me again, Heinrich von Heinrich, Marvel's story scientist supreme. You just called me going over my acceptance speech for the Royal Academy of Story Science Learning and Nurturement uh, Award Ceremony, or wrestling, as we call it in the bees. Uh, I am winning an award for my brilliant story science analysis, and now I share some of it with you, particularly in this issue of FF. Now, what you're seeing before you is a great conclusion to the story of Blastar. We have seen him in Fantastic Four, 6 and 7, bouncing around time. He is uh, tried at the end of time, and he is sent to the beginning of time to be destroyed. And here, in FF, we see the beginning of this story, in which the wizard brings in Blastar to try and capture Bentley. So, what is the story science? Well, I would like to talk to you about the nature of time. You see, sometimes people say you start story at beginning, and then middle, and then end. But does time actually work that way? Some people believe time is like a mountain. You view it from far away and you see cause and effect. Some people believe it is all cause and effect. I do something, it starts a reaction, and it is impossible to see time as one actual thing. However, in the process of story, you can see time as a whole event, like looking at that mountain. When someone who understands the story science as much as Matt Fraction does, you cannot necessarily tell a story from beginning, middle, end, but do crazy story time science mix em ups so that you have something like this where you get the beginning of the story at the end. What this does is opens up a wealth of story science possibilities to make your neurons fire all crazy because you think, wait a minute, this is how it starts. But I see the way that it ends, and now everything's new again. So, that's just a little bit of story science timescape for you in this incredible issue of FF. Thank you very much for listening, and have a good day.